Hey, what's up, YouTube? Surreal Canine here, back with more Disgaea Dimension 2. In the last episode, we made Desko the main character and also recruited her sister, Fuka. And let's, uh, let's talk to some of our minions before we head out. Is there anybody out here? Oh yeah, I should put the cheat shot back to normal, too. I had a uh, I had some settings being messed with just to uh I had some settings being messed with just to get Fuka and Desko up to speed and boy did they get up to speed. If you take a look uh, Fuka and Desko now have four hearts of likability. This, uh, this has some major benefits for us, <laughs> which I will get into once we start the next map. Let's see if anybody's in the throne room and worth talking to. Water. <laughs> oh no. Fuka is going to get her design sense all over the castle. We may never recover. Oh yeah, you're not one of our guys. <laughs> I never made a pumpkin, that's right. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, we don't quite have enough uh, cash to get Desko a weapon upgrade, but that is fine, because I have something special in mind for them. Let's go to Evil Plans Foyer. Where did Grosso go? Your guess is as good as mine, Flan. Maybe sitting somewhere high up, waiting to make an entrance. He said something about getting ready. I wonder what that was all about. Huh. I'll destroy this castle if that's what it takes to get him out And here. now it's raining. I can't allow that. Oh no, a new voice. Uh, nice jump there, Laharo. <laughs> Who am I? Why, it's me, Rainier. Don't you remember me? Oh no, she's got boobs. Laharl's worst enemy. Ah, stop it! Don't push your body up against mine! <gasps> Rainier? I don't know you! That's not nice. You really forgot about me? I used to take care of you when you were little. Whenever you wouldn't stop crying at night, I'd put you to sleep by smothering No you. wonder he doesn't like busty women. I don't believe you. Wait, then I'd be dead. I guess Big Brother doesn't like busty women. <laughs> stop stealing my thunder, Sicily. Right, which is why he doesn't like me. Yeah, me too. He doesn't like me either. <laughs> My thoughts exactly, Sicily. Are you in my old man's group too? Exactly. King Kurchevskoy never discriminated against anyone, not even a country bumpkin like You don't me. sound like a country bumpkin. He seemed entertaining, so I decided to find treasures for him. Where's your southern accent or whatever? I don't know. I'm actually from a family of treasure hunters, you know. I don't care about you. <coughs> Answer me this. Do you think that I'm less of an overlord than my old man, too? <laughs> Please, what, pray tell, part of you is better than he was? Ugh, damn it! Fine! I will engrave into that sexy body of yours just how terrifying I am! <laughs> that sounded pretty perverted. <laughs> Dang it, Laharl. Alright, so let's get Fuka and Desko out here. We're going to mount up. 
Uh, as you can see, she's got two cross trainers on her, but her move is only five. Yeah, they seriously nerfed Desko's mobility since the Disguise 4. But that is fine. Also, I've got Sicily out here ready to learn uh, some proper spells along with the uh, heal and mega heal. Along with her, uh... Well, you know what? What am I saying? Healing spells are proper spells. I will fight you. Ready, go! Let's get some guys out here. Yeah, still gonna bring home run out. You know what? Just for sounding like a pervert, Laharl is going to sit this battle out. Sicily, you are going to get some healing practice. Not even using full power. You've got guts. Oh yeah, I guess we have a we have a mini boss on our hands. Let's see here. Rainier is a is what is known as a sea angel. They're a, they're an aquatic animal, a pretty common to Japan that no other country has ever heard of. Uh, as you can see, she's got some buff spells. Uh, that might be a little dangerous, but it's also something we kind of want. She's also uh, got some ice and healing magic. Uh... Oh, that's fireworks, not thunder. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Also, uh... This gargoyle is carrying an archer. Let's see. Ooh, uh, extra damage against flying units. Uh, Desco is. Yep, Desco still counts as a flying unit, so uh, keep the archers away from Desco. On the other hand, uh, new game minus. <laughs> That's funny. You can see Fuka only has 235 attack, but when I. Tell her to axe a dude. Oh, she is doing like a thousand damage against uh, the mages in episode two. Go figure. But yeah, I have reason to believe that is an effect of the four star likability between her and Desco. Start! Jeremy spoke in. What language did he speak in? I must know! Video game, do not taunt me with half-completed facts! Saw that? Uh, I've seen this before, let's get up close and personal. Actually, what can I steal off you? Nothing that is of use to me. Can't even kill you with dark matter ether, what the heck. Video game, you're losing your touch, except you're really not. Here I go. Mm. Oh. Oh. Yeah, just a poke guy with a spear. That's uh, pretty normal in our book. So yeah, I wanted to show that off, but I don't think I will keep Fuka and Desko mounted the whole time, because uh, Fuka's primary asset is actually her mobility. Uh, or at least it's a huge asset in our favor. Uh, she's got six move by default, so... Uh, yeah, I think we are going to. Uh, I think we're going to split up. Cause with her two cross trainers, Fuka now has eight move, and that is nothing to sneeze at. Blue Mage, uh, Sorcery Depletion. 
Yeah, they get stronger when they are lower on a on SP, and that is not just not a thing we want. All right, Etna, time for you to start looting the treasure. Herself. I don't know what I'm worried about. I don't know. Uh, you will fall back because actually I have a suspicion that Laharl has uh, something to say to Rainier. And I'm going to want to hear it. Just for the uh, sake of completeness. Really, game? Really, game? Really, game? In that case, I have only to say, your face. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was trying to mega wind myself instead of mega heal. That would not have turned out very good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's like, what, Etna? You, you got a problem with healing spells? Cash! That was definitely thunder, which means it's probably about time I stopped recording. Can I not... I guess I didn't end turn. Thought I did. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Okay, yeah, these guys are prejudiced against angels. <laughs> Some Grichevsko group you turned out to be. It should always play. Uh, who just got owned? I'm not sure. Alright, you know what, actually, I am going to mount up, and, uh... We are going to show off Deathco. B-level attack, because of our, uh, high likability. Let's check it out. Uh, I said, let's check it out. See, uh, Desco has not forgotten how to magic change since the last game. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It did some pretty impressive damage, too. Alright, Laharo, get out here. I don't know, also get out here. I don't know why you were a, a thing, but now you are not a thing. Sicily, uh, you get up here and uh, assault this guy. Oh, Etna got him. So, uh, we are not gonna hear what she has to say then. Oh, well. Smash the treasure chest! How dare you! <laughs> There's that little Cesara coming into play. This is why we brought an axe. 
Laharo, pick your killer axe and kill! Antenne was not good enough. <laughs> Dang it, Laharo. Whoa, that was an impressive uh, water effect there. Uh, Huka, you finish her off just because. Do what we must because we can. Sicily, you get out of the way. Actually, I better heal with Haro. Okay, Rainier goes down. Actually, I never talked to her with Flan either. Oh, well. Uh, Fuka with the high jumps. Look at that. She got 30 jump. I don't even think any of that is from the cross trainers either. Alright, home run, since we are still trying to feed you kills so you can reincarnate, uh, you take this one. And there we go. 630 damage. Uh, we are definitely getting up there with, uh... Ooh, Kata Practice leveled up. We can, uh, put... We can put Fuka in there now and, uh, have her get some attack bonus. I think I will do just that. Well, either Fuka or Desco. Uh, yeah, good question. Oh yeah, Etna is in here if she's not following Laharl around. Uh, seems appropriate. So not only did the uh, attack bonus go up to 10%, but we uh, can put two guys in there now. I think it's very much uh, worth our time to put Fuka in there. Sadly, uh, Desco and Home Run uh, are not getting a thing yet. I know. It is sad and we are bummed by it. Alright, so... On to the character demo. The unit of the day is everyone's favorite little final boss, if I can find her. Desco! Uh, do not be fooled by this uh, big uh, number six here. Desco starts out with three moves. She's a flying type, so she can go right through enemies. She's our first flying type, in fact. But uh, yeah, her mobility is severely limited until you can get some proper shoes on her. As you can see, I have an accelerator in my post-game file. <clears throat> anyway, Desco is all about power. Uh, as you can see, 145% attack of attack aptitude, uh, and her ability increases her attack power by 20% per adjacent ally. Let's experiment a little bit here. Uh, does a mounted unit count as two adjacent allies? See, who can I pull out? Shredder. Twenty percent. I can do this. Start. No. To become the best overlord. Also, uh, spoilers, but <laughs> okay. So you cannot just mount up and uh, give her a plus one hundred sixty percent. That does not work, unfortunately. But. She is still absurdly powerful. Also, I noticed just noticed that the attack bonus does not factor into her uh, her, vis her visible stats. That explains the uh, incredibly poor damage we were doing against the gargoyles earlier. But yeah, we are not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about uh, her... What do you mean, out of range? Come on, game. Final boss arises. Uh, all of her attacks are star element, which is pretty cool. But Final Boss Arises kind of has a weird area of effect. Oh, come on, Desco. D. 
D-Class. Actually, both of these are D-Class, uh, so they... I guess they each serve a different purpose. One of them is ranged, and one of them has a uh, big area of effect. I can get behind that. I like a 3x3 three three area of effect. Maximum pit. <laughs> I'm still going to keep referencing Pip, even though Fox is about the only one who would get all the jokes. All right, let's uh, let's mount up Fuka and uh, show off the mounted skill. Oh shoot, you know what? I have not been uh, demonstrating mounted skills with anybody else. Whoops. Yeah, well, you know what, the, the, uh... No, you know what? I'm not going to end it with just that. That was, that was stupid. Let's pull out our, our, uh... Yeah, let's pull out our slime and our pumpkin and mount somebody up on everyone. This is good. Go and Desco. It's Artina. Hold this guy of four crew is here. It's pretty great. Okay, first up, the pumpkin uh Unique skill, Jumpin' Jack. We are playing Nino Cooney. <laughs> this is sure. Okay, that was a uh, very Chrono Trigger sort of uh, combo there. Alright. Slime special skill is Slime Hand. What? This place, what? I call Crazy Town. And of course, Desco has Death Co. Oops. Two times in a row, man! <laughs> We're just gonna keep doing this until we get it right. Artina, get over here. There you go. We saw this already during the main episode, but uh, I'm gonna show it off again. Turns out Fuka isn't the only one who knows how to use a Desco Blade. Heck yeah. Alright, now we can end the demo. Crazy. 